Hello everybody, welcome back. And look at I've got myself a new webcam. If anybody's been uh, following me on Twitter, you'll know that I found this at my local Value Village, unopened and for like dirt cheap. So um, I figured why not do a Let's Play Thursday in my most recent video with the webcam and we can dive into something I've, wanting, I've been wanting to dive into for a very long time. So as you can see, we have Subnautica. Now I've been playing this game not long after it was first released and I have been playing it continuously as they update it. However, I haven't played it very much since the prawn update because I've been waiting to do a video and I really, really, really wanted to have a webcam for it. Um, so I'm really, really happy that I finally have one. So now we are going to dive right into a brand new game on survival mode and we're going to see how this pans out. Um, just so you're aware, I am terrified of the ocean. Open waters scare the living snot out of me, but I like playing this game anyways. It's a ton of fun, super cool survival um, exploration game underwater almost completely. Um, and I know with the updates, there's a ton of stuff they've added. Now I haven't gone very, very far in this game. I haven't even managed to make a Cyclops yet. But I'm hoping that with this series, we can dive into some deeper waters and explore this a little bit more. So we will see how this goes. Um, like I said, there's been a new update and I really don't know much of the changes, although I have, I at least watched the trailer, so I know we've got the prawn suit, I know we've got a couple new biomes, some new enemies and creatures, um, some new items and things, and we can explore the Aurora in more detail and more depth, which is what really excites me about this. However, I don't think we're gonna get to the Aurora first day. Um, we're just going to wait for this to load and get started. Alright guys, here we go. Now, for any of you who haven't seen this, we're going to... Or who have played this or seen this before, we're going to... The first day or so, we're going to dive in and I'm going to show you guys what, what goes on, or at least what I know goes on. After that, who knows what we're going to do. I'm not going to show you all the farming for items and things like that, so... Well, there goes the Aurora. Bye-bye! I liked when they added this new intro in. It was uh, really neat to see what happened and oh my face. Ouch. That's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> There's already water in it. Well I guess we are I guess we are on the water now. We probably landed, but uh, that's a pretty big fire. Um, fire extinguisher please. I wonder if you can die without putting out the fire. I wonder if you like suffocate to death or if the fire just takes over the entire pod. That'd be something to see, hey? Come on, put it out. Put it out, put it out. Ah. Okay, we're good? We're good. The music stopped. Alrighty then. And I'm gonna be talking over the silly computer half the time because she's so annoying. But she's funny too. Survival in emergency situations. You have the mission based personal data assistance. PDA. Inventory. Our blueprints, so everything we can make, including habitats and stuff. Our logs, so everything that's happened. Photo album, so we can take photos and data bank. Read me, survival 101. Oh, so that's like it's tutorial never used it and I'm not gonna start now. Um, we don't want this. So first things first, let's find out where we landed. Oh, quite a ways from the Aurora. That's nice. Alright. We can already see fishies and we can barely see the bottom. For a second there I thought we were on a thermal vent, but that's just our, our pod. Okay, in we go. Oh, that was a horrible dive. <laughs> Splot. Oh, perfect. So we're right by the giant limestone thingy. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Yes, I hear you. Trend is consistent with All right. So, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to be talking over her the whole time. Um, first things first is to gather some materials so that we can get some important items. Um, like the scanner, the flashlight, and then the knife as well. So, I think we've got enough for two batteries the one thing of glass. Now we need something for the knife. Where's the Aurora? Aurora's that way. Okay. We're going this way. We need to get some silicone rubber. 
and then some lubricant. So we're off to find, I th think that's, yes, the kelp forest. So in we go to find ourselves the seed clusters. If there are any nearby. Hello, seed clusters, glowy. Ah, there's the glowy stuff. Oh, this is the big one. Okay. So if I remember correctly, there's a ton of stalkers around here, and stalkers will eat my face. So we are going to do this. Dive, 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 dive. Get in, get the stuff, get the heck out of here. Get me, get me. Yes. Pick up as many as we can carry. That's all of them off that one. And is there more that we can carry? We've got enough. Inventory is full. Okay. Back up we go. Did we? We didn't attract any. Awesome. That's very nice. Although we need some food. We are going to need some food and we are going to need some water. So, yes, yes, yes. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Jeez. That's one thing that sucks. You do not have very much oxygen at the beginning of the game. Okay, so next. Water and food. And you are water. Yes, I know. Thank you. Water. Now food. Boomerang. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah! Inventory full. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll drop one of you. Because I need food more than I need water. Come here, boomerang. Perfect. Much better. Okay. Back up for air. And now we are going to get ourselves some food. Okay. Into cooking the boomerang. I almost should have gotten two food and one and no water, but that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going... We've got our food, we've got our water, and now we need to make some silicone rubber for our knife. We need some glass for a couple things, actually. I think we need more silicone rubber, too, because we need a knife, we need an oxygen tank. Big things are an oxygen tank, fins, and then we need a knife and a scanner to start with. So... I don't think we've got enough for everything. Ooh, who's rocking the boat? Stop rocking the boat. Okay. We're going to get a knife. We're going to get our scanner. And then we'll see what else we need for other stuff. So there's our knife. There's our scanner. We need oxygen tank. I need more titanium. I don't think I've got any more. No, I don't. Okay. Let's use up the last of these creep vines for the silicone rubber and a piece of lubricant. Or a bottle of... A piece of lubricant. A bottle of lube. We will put the extras away. Lube, we don't need that. And we're going to need battery. We need one more battery. Okay, we'll make that. At least I got most of the materials I needed this time without going too overboard. We, we need two more titanium. So let us grab some more titanium. Injury, Hopefully. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 90%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. Everything but titanium. Um. Ah, there's some titanium. All the debris. The debris. Wow. Hey, Rabbit Ray. You're so pretty. I'm going to have a entire... Yes, 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 I know. You're talking over me. Stop it. I want to have rabbit rays. Lots and lots of rabbit rays. Flashlight. Need two titanium. Right. We need to make titanium out of the debris that we found to make our oxygen tank so that she doesn't talk to me every 30 seconds. 45 seconds. Well, I guess it is about 30 seconds. Um, we also need a flashlight, which means we need some glass. And I don't think I have any more. No, I don't. Okay. We need some more quartz. Mayday, mayday. Need more quartz. And we need more stuff for the flashlight. Quartz. There's some quartz. So we're diving right into this, getting all the materials that we need. The safe shallows is where you start. And as you can see, it's pretty docile. And pretty, pretty too. So lots of fishies. Oh, I should probably eat that boomerang before it goes bad. And I'll drink the water too. We'll need more food. Yeah, we're only at 48%. Alright. We're gonna grab a f one more. One more. I think I need that. I think I need two for the flat. One for the flashlight. 
and one piece of glass for the... Um, no, I've already got my O2 tank. What else do I need? I don't know what else I need. Um, just the O2 tank. Or, I mean, just the, just the flashlight. So, we shall... Can I go back up, please? Yes, yes, yes. Don't scream at me, please. Thank you. Just beat her. Okay, so now we're going to get one more thing for food. I need another fishy. Fishy. Come here, boomerang. Grab them both. Perfect. Now we should be good for food. And it looks like it's starting to get dark, too. Yep, the sun is setting on day one already. That was nice and quick. What we're going to do is we're going to make our food... If I can go into the right tab. We're going to make our food so that we don't starve to death. And we are going to make our flashlight. And then we'll be able to explore at night. Right. We need to make some glass. Now the one thing I found, especially in this game, especially when you begin, is do not loot or get everything you possibly can. Why? Because your inventory fills up very, very quickly. All you have are these slots here and these slots here. And it may look like a lot, but it's not at all. I didn't make my flashlight yet. What am I doing? I'm talking too much. Anyways, here's our flashlight. Now, next thing we are going to need are fins. I've got enough silicone rubber for fins. Where are they? Give me. Okay. These are the basics that you need to start with. And now that we have them, we can go with our scanner and find stuff. So now we have fins. Warning. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation at the Aurora's dark matter drive core. Is it already? The detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Already? Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. No, not already. Okay. We are going to not dive in, apparently. We are going to take a look around, there's our flashlight, and see if we can find some scanners. Scanner thingers. Fragments. They're called fragments. I can never remember. I call them scanner rules. Um, because we need to build stuff to help us swim faster and do other things. There's, there's stuff flitting around at the like side of my vision. It's freaking me out. Because I don't know what they are. Hey, there's a scanner doodle. Okay. So, cool thing about the scanner, not only can we scan fragments, but we can scan flora and fauna. Which really isn't all that great for you guys. It's kind of, probably kind of boring. But that is what we're looking for. We're looking for the sea glide. Because that is going to make us swim much, much faster and keep away from the things that are trying to eat us. What's this one? Yes! Sea glide number two! Excellent! Now, we have a sea glide. Or, we have... I'm coming, I'm coming. We have blueprints for a sea glide. Not the sea glide yet. We still need to make it. Um, and we can actually take a look and see what we need. Battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. Okay, so we need another battery. Don't think I've got one in my inventory. Nope. So, let's grab some of that on our way battery. I think I've got copper in my pod. We've got lube. We have... I don't know if we've got enough copper for a copper wire, though. We have enough for a copper wire or a battery and a half. We'll make our battery first. We're going to need some copper wire. And then... Yeah, it's in deployables. Um, lubricant and titanium. Okay. So we got the lubricant, we got the titanium, we just need the copper wire. And then we've got our sea glide already, which is... Well then, that was quick. Under the red... The central dark matter reaction will reach a super critical state in T minus. Ten, nine... Countdown. Eight, seven, six, five, five, four, three, two, one... Oh, and there she goes! Oh my goodness! 
Oh, I never get tired of watching that. Oh my goodness, what a cool transition. And it is gutted. Completely gutted. As you can see, you've got all the streaks of the debris flying everywhere. And that sounds like radiation. Wow. Bye bye, Aurora. We'll come see you soon. We just won't be able to go that quickly. And just like that, the first day is done. The Aurora has exploded. Wow, that was quick. All right, where were we? All right. We need copper wire. Well, that's just gonna have to wait until tomorrow. We are going to watch this as we finish up here. That's the beginning of Subnautica. And I hope we're gonna have a lot of fun diving into this really, really deep and exploring the, the depths and not getting scared too, too much. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye. Evo Soda. Our reverse is a maintenance. Oh, and the sh and, Okay, I think it was the last last sad pack that we opened. The hollow, it's like they missed some of them because the hollow form went, on the reverse hollow went over the hollow part too. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going crazy on that. I could pick some old ones up. I don't know where they are right now. Anyways, first rate, or second radiant collection in this box is the Charizard, which is pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure I spoiled it when I was flipping these around. But are rare.